Steve here, Soggy Bottom Farm. It's about 3.30 in the morning, Friday after Thanksgiving. Anyways, I bought this thing right here. I got this thing about a month ago. Never even put it on the gun. Anyways, the intention was to see if I could get me some beaver in the morning. Let's go evaluate the thing, situation, and we'll uh, see what we can get done. If you want to get some beaver in the morning, this might be a how-to for you. Outside now. It's real foggy. But that'll tell us which way the wind is blowing. We might need that. You want to approach this morning beaver very carefully. It's on my way to get this beaver... I better do something about these deer. They are tearing up the trees along my driveway. He's about to girdle this tree. I have to remember that when I decide what gun to bring. Man, these beaver are capable of holding back a lot of water. Let me give you another perspective here. Man, that beaver is tearing up every tree in the neighborhood. I found the beaver dam. I knew it was here. I tore a hole in it right there yesterday. So this beaver's working. He's still around somewhere. I'm gonna tear a hole in this dam. Ain't no point in... Uh, even starting if the beaver ain't gonna work. So let's make this thing work. I'm gonna tear a hole in it. Hey, let me give you a little tip. If you ever decide you're gonna go after a beaver in the morning, I'd suggest you approach this thing from behind. You know, work your way in there slowly. Open it all up. And then let the thing gush. All right, when you finally commit to going after that beaver in the morning, you go in there deep, you put a nice hole in that thing. That way you know it's going to come back again. Let's go get a weapon. Okay, we're sitting down here at the bank of the creek. I'm about, I don't know, 15, 20 feet from the bank. To my left, I've got a 22, and over there is where them rub trees are. So if old big boy wants to come out, I got the 270 right there. Wish me luck. Hang in there. Well, yesterday turned out to be a bust. Oh, the beaver showed up after I dug a hole in that dam. The problem was, I dug the hole over here. My neighbor's got a security light. I was sitting over here. That light was shining along the bank of the creek. And it shadowed the hole that I dug. I heard him tumbling rocks. I heard them cutting down branches. One of them even came up the bank right here and was about four feet from me. And I couldn't shoot it because I didn't want to wound it with the 22. I wanted to kill it. But let me tell you, I got a severe case of beaver fever when that thing come up out of that bank. It was better than buck fever. So today what we're going to do is we're going to cut a hole in it over here and we're going to use the light from the neighbor's security light i seen the water and i seen everything over here we're going to go out here in the same spot cut a hole over here and then we're going to get that beaver over here they were there about 15 minutes after i cut that hole and it took them maybe 20 minutes to build that dam back up. I'm pretty sure there's two of them out there. 
So, you hang in there. Because we're fixing to go get these beaver. We're going to use some uh, shotgun this time. If that thing comes up that bank again, biting off little bushes, I have a better chance of uh, taking care of this issue. Let's go get that beaver. Okay, we're out here at the dam. That's where I cut the hole in it yesterday. Cut a hole in it right here. I'm gonna be sitting right over there by that tree. The, that one, not this one. That one. I don't have much room here between me and the bank. I throw everything over here. I'm making a bigger dam than the beaver is. Okay, wish me luck. Let me remind you. You don't know when this thing's gonna let go. So make sure you can get out. You do not want to be in the way if this doesn't work out. So just work your way in there slowly. You can tell it'll start making some noise. And you'll know I'm getting darn close. Because this dam is getting thin. So you make sure you can get out of here. That's a whole lot of water these beaver are holding back. And you don't want this thing to go with you in the direct line of fire. So just be careful. All right. I'm about ready to take my tool and start tearing into this thing. She's almost ready to let go. That beaver showed up over there a minute ago. I don't know if you can see them ripples or not, but it tail slapped me. I hope it comes back. I better do a good job. Hang on. You know, I hate to admit it, but I am losing the battle with getting a beaver. I even tried this night vision scope, but I don't have the battery for this flashlight portion of it. I've decided, you know, 57 years old, two kids, you'd think that uh, I could figure out how to get the beaver. But I failed. Shotguns, daytime, nighttime, you name it, I failed. Today, I even set a trap. Today, we're going to take these two lights and tape them to a tree. We're going to make one more attempt to get the beaver. Hang in there. Okay, I got them two lights shining down here on this dam. What the heck? Look at that. I come out here to get some beaver and all I got was some head. Oh gosh, thank God, it's a doe. Let me tear this up. Next time you see me, we'll be sitting up there. I'm hoping they just think that light is a full moon. We'll see what happens. Well, I'm back in the shed. I got wet. But I didn't get that beaver. It started raining. The wind picked up. Let me show you. It's a miserable day today. Sleeting earlier. If this was a deer. Had some horns on it. I'd probably still be out there. But. I'm not going to eat this beaver. That beaver lives right over there. It can't see me coming. It's dark. Maybe it feels me coming through the vibrations. I'm going to sneak over there. Give this one more attempt at getting this beaver in the morning. Maybe. Just maybe. If I don't get him this morning, I'm going to end this video. And we'll start trying to do it at night. Just before dark. See if we can get some beaver that way. Hang in there. Okay, I'm about 60 seconds away. Hang in there. 
there's my Connie bear trap. Well, they haven't been working on this dam. I wasn't able to sneak up on them. They probably went to bed for the day. I should probably do the same thing. Anyways, if you liked what you've seen here today, come on back. We'll try and get some beaver in the evening. This is Steve at Soggy Bottom Farm. I'm out. Hey, don't forget, if you get yourself a beaver that holds back a lot of water, when this thing breaks, you're left with a big hole. Be careful. <laughs>